Thank you. Let's give one more nice round of applause for our Sheriff Dave Mahoney. There's not many prides where the Sheriff actually shows up and is here to support us in our community. Thank you, Sheriff Mahoney. What's best about Pride is we celebrate all the successes we've had in the past year. And this year we've had an awful lot of successes. In Wisconsin, we just celebrated the one year anniversary of the Domestic Partnership Registry for gay and lesbian couples right here in Wisconsin. And this past January, we officially started offering domestic partnership health benefits for state and university employees. A long fight in coming, and it's important that we have that for our state employees. At the federal level, we have progress on Don't Ask, Don't Tell. A commitment from the president, a commitment from congressional leaders, and we will officially be satisfied when we have Ask, Tell. Yeah. On the marriage front, in California, the gay marriage ban was overturned. And in California, to Iowa, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, and the District of Columbia, that means over 16% of the population, one out of every six people, now has legal access to same-sex marriage in this country. That is a lot of progress in one year. Now, what about the anti-civil rights crowd, crowd the, the gay haters? What, how's their year been? Well, one of their leading state senators in California was pulled over as he pulled out of a gay bar parking lot with his male companion. I, I guess he had a wrong turn. And George Reckers, one of the national leaders of the anti-gay movement, was caught vacationing in Europe with a young man he hired from rentboy.com, allegedly to help him carry his bags on the trip and tried to help him eschew the boy's evil ways. I, I think we all know what kind of help Rikers was expecting and what he wanted eschewed, don't we? For you single guys out there looking for Mr. Right, can I make a suggestion? Try Mr. Right Wing. It seems that Woofs, the Shamrock, Club 5, Plan B, and the Tea Party headquarters are all great places these days to meet someone who's looking. Here in Wisconsin, the main anti-gay organization just this past week filed a nuisance lawsuit trying to block our state's domestic partnership laws one week before Wisconsin Capital Pride. I say we file our own nuisance suit against them one week before their biggest holiday, April Fool's Day. So when you look at domestic partnership registry, domestic partnership health benefits, progress on don't ask, don't tell, marriage equality becoming a reality in this country, I would say our year, fabulous. Their year, well, it sort of makes it look like Lindsay Lohan's got her life put together. So I would say just enjoy the festivities, celebrate our gains, have a chuckle or two at our enemies, it's always worthwhile, and stay proud in the best city in the country, Madison, Wisconsin. Happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. All right, we're going to do 